Thank you for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. My name is Kenny, as most of you already know. And for those of you who don't, welcome to the channel. This is New York Eternix, your source for everything Quell and Game Bird related. If this is your first time visiting the channel, or if you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified in real time whenever we do leave new content on the channel. We're back in full swing and there's a lot going on with the channel, so be sure to stay tuned. Before we begin, I'd like to let you all know that we are still running a contest for 30 free Caternix hatching eggs, and that's courtesy of White's Family Farmhouse, located in Maine, New York. Not to be confused with Maine, the state, but Maine, which is a small town located in the state of New York. For details on how to participate in this contest, stay tuned until the end of the video and I will tell you exactly what you need to do. I'm particularly excited about today's video and that's because we're going to get into some more factual information. This particular information is specific to the state of New York. If you're watching this video and you're not in New York State, keep watching anyway. Just trust me, there's information in this video that will pertain to you in some form or fashion. Just keep in mind that you will want to check with your state or municipality or, you know, territory's local authority on any specific matter. The DEC or Department of Environmental Conservation here in New York State is responsible for many things, including the licensing of things like fishing, hunting, falconry, trapping, and even shellfish digging. There are a lot of special licenses and permits that can be obtained from them as well. This video covers one of those special licenses, the Domestic Game Bird Breeder License. I definitely suggest checking out the website, which is in the description below. On top of what we go over in this video, you'll find lots of other useful information that you didn't even know you wanted in the first place. Now, before I first got started with Quell, I did a lot of research and one of the things that concerned me the most at the time were the local laws and regulations in regard to the type of Quell that I was trying to get started with here in New York, the Japanese Coternix. Now, while the state doesn't go into detail or say anything about the Japanese Quell specifically, Quell are in fact listed as one of the captive bred game birds. I called into the office to get information asking if I needed a license for Japanese Coternix. I was told that I did not need a license because it's not a native species, which the website doesn't mention, but it is a good piece of information nonetheless. I was able to apply for and obtain a domestic game bird breeder license, and I only did this just in case I wanted to raise other kind of birds in the future. Kind of a cover my basis sort of deal. Uh, the licenses authorizes an individual to breed, release, transport, or sell select game bird species. The Class A license is a steep $200, while the Class B counterpart is only $40. Either license, Class A or Class B, is good for a period of five years. You can apply for either of these licenses by printing out the application or by calling up and having the application sent to you. As of right now, you cannot apply online, at least not here in New York State. So you'll have to send the completed application back with the money order for the licensing fee. I got my license back in the mail in less than two weeks. The Class A license is commercial. And then there's a the Class B license, which is for private or personal use. The Class A license will allow everything that the Class B license allows. Plus, it allows for the selling and transporting of captive bred game birds, dead or alive and their eggs to other licensed domestic game bird breeders. The Class B license is good for purchasing captive bred birds from Class A license holders, breeding captive bred game bird species on licensed premises, releasing and stocking captive bred species into the wild, except Canada geese, wild turkey, and swan. And also there's the taking or killing of captive bred birds by means other than shooting for licensee's own personal use except when liberated on the licensee's premises during open hunting seasons for those species. The Class B license expressly does not allow releasing Canada geese, wild turkey, or swan at any time. Operating a hunting preserve, a shooting preserve license is required for that if you want to hunt domestic game birds as possible. And specifically mentioned for Class B licensees, no shooting or selling of the birds. Now, as per their website in the other pertinent information section, captive bred game birds include the following species. Ducks, geese, brant, swans, pheasants, quail, wild turkey, 
ruffled grouse, chukar partridge, Hungarian partridge, and the European gray leg partridge. The Hungarian and the European gray leg both bring up the same information when I do research on them. So I have a feeling that the website is being redundant in its listing, unless there's one of you who knows something about partridges in particular. Anybody? Anybody? As I mentioned earlier, the license lasts for five years and will expire on March 31st of the fifth year after the license is issued. The DEC will send you a renewal form by mail before the expiration date of the license. From what I'm to understand, the process of renewal is pretty quick and easy. I haven't had to do it myself yet. If you have a commercial license, there are forms that you'll want to keep and submit, one of which is the carcass identification form and the other being an annual report and continuous record of operations, which must be submitted every year by the 5th of April. The carcass ID form is required to be completed when any bird or carcass leaves the licensed premises. You want to keep those on hand just in case you're ever asked for them. Now I did mention earlier that if you're watching this video and you're not in New York State, you'll want to keep watching and also that you'll want to check with your state's environmental agency for specific information. I did go ahead and include a link for the Environmental Protection Agency, also known as the EPA's website, which lists every state's environmental and health agency's website. That's in the description below. I'll also go ahead and include a link for each of these state's environmental agencies as well. I've checked out a bunch of these websites briefly and all I can say is rabbit hole. You'll likely find yourselves immersed with information to keep yourselves busy for days. Hey, while you're at it, you might as well check out the websites for your neighboring states just in case you're visiting. If you're still here watching this video, perfect. I promise that I let you know how to participate in the contest for 30 free hatching eggs from White's Family Farmhouse, which is located in Maine, New York. Not to be confused with Maine, the state, but Maine, the town, which is located right here in New York State. In order to participate in the contest, leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, then head over to Facebook, join the group, and leave a comment on the official contest thread you'll be entered for a chance to win 30 free Caternix quail hatching eggs courtesy of White's Family Farmhouse and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you once again for coming to check us out today here at New York Caternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, please leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more Hit that notification bell so you're notified in real time whenever we do leave new content on the channel. We here at New York Attorneys really appreciate the support so far and look forward to hearing from you when the next video releases. See you soon.